are you or someone you know recovered from a heart attack? Well, have I got a video for you today. Welcome to the truth about sex and heart attacks. What you need to know. I'm thrilled to be discussing this topic, often considered taboo, incredibly important for those who have experienced heart attack and their partners as well. Brace yourself for some jaw-dropping numbers. Did you know that in the United States someone suffers a heart attack every 40 seconds? That's over 800,000 people a year. What is a heart attack? Let's unlock the mystery of a heart attack, also known as myocardial infarction, or MY for short. Picture this, a vital part of your heart muscle starve of oxygen and nutrients due to a sudden blockage in the blood flow. One of the arteries supplying the heart muscle, one of the coronary arteries gets blocked. It's a medical emergency, a dire situation because your heart craves oxygen and nutrients to survive. If the blood flow isn't restored swiftly, the heart muscle starts to wither away, will die, will be replaced with scar tissue. Now, a heart attack is not the same as cardiac arrest, which happens when the heart suddenly unexpectedly stops beating. A heart attack can cause sudden cardiac arrest, however, and most heart attacks are caused by coronary artery disease. But if you want to learn more about the difference, watch this video, heart attack versus cardiac arrest, the difference. I'll put a link in the description. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, heart disease. Did you know that heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States, surpassing all cancers combined? And it has held this position since 1918, the year of the Spanish flu. Heart disease is the leading cause of death globally also of both men and women, responsible for over 19 million deaths a year. We've covered the basics, but let's tackle the burning questions about your love life. Can you bring back the sizzle without compromising your health? Get ready for some thrilling answers. Let's dive in. We will answer five questions. I will have a bonus at the end of the video. Stick around. Number one, is sex exercise, sexual activity, can pump up your heart rate, increase your blood pressure, and even burn some calories, but don't get too carried away as you want to replace your regular workout routine. However, the intensity and physical exertion during sex can vary widely, obviously, but assuming an average of five to 15 minutes for sex, you can get about the same amount of activity as walking one mile at a very slow pace, a 20 minute mile. Question number two, how physically taxing is intercourse in your heart? Picture this, intercourse typically amounts to a three to five mets, metabolic equivalent of task, and metabolic equivalent of task, as you know, is the amount of energy your body requires at rest when you sleep or just resting to maintain function its vital organs. Let's put it into perspective. It's akin to climbing two flights of stairs at a leisurely pace or a brisk walking for a glorious 10 to 20 minutes. While it's not an extreme workout, it's essential to be aware of your unique limitations. But hold on, let's debunk some common concerns and myths that might have snuck into your mind. Who is at risk during sex? Who gets in trouble during sex? Prepare to be relieved. Less than 1% of heart attacks happen during sexual activity, and the vast majority occur more than 24 hours after the deed is done. However, there is a fiery trio you should steer clear of, uh, combining erectile dysfunction medications like the blue pill, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, with alcohol and soaking hot tubs. This uh, mix can lower your blood pressure and potentially lead to fainting or worse. Who faces the risk of a heart attack during love making? Believe it or not, it's mostly men are affected. And surprisingly, in 75% of cases, it involves extramarital relationships and often follows feasting on excessive amounts of food and alcohol. Sex is very safe. Of the 800,000 heart attacks in the United States a year, less than 1% have a heart attack during sex. And even of these, only 0.7% happen within the one hour of intercourse. 1.5% have a heart attack within three to six hours, but the vast majority, almost 80%, have a heart attack more than 24 hours after having sex. And the other thing to know is do not take erectile dysfunction medications like Viagra, Levita, Cialis. If you are on nitrates like Imdur or other nitroglycerin medications for your heart condition, if you take these medications, you need to wait to 72 hours. You really need to discuss with your doctor if you are on this combination because it could be very serious. Don't mix them. The million dollar question, can you die during intercourse? 
Let me share an eye-opening story with you. He is a rhythm strip EKG of a woman who experienced, in fact, ventricular fibrillation during sex. Thanks to her implantable defibrillator, her life was saved actually multiple times until found a way to suppress her fatal arrhythmia with medication. If you want to learn more about warning signs of a cardiac arrest, be sure to check my video, Top Warnings, Signs of a Cardiac Arrest. I'll put a link on the top and on the description below. Key is the bond, as I promised you. Is your doctor going to counsel you on sex after heart attack? Regrettably, most likely not. Most doctors will want to bring up the subject, and when they do, they tend to provide very restrictive advice, and patients may not bring it up either for fear of being perceived as concentrating in the wrong things, but don't hesitate to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your doctor about sex after a heart attack. It's a vital part of your overall recovery. Out of 800,000 heart attacks that occur in the U.S. every year, less than 1% happen during sex. Patients their partners will be overwhelmed, uh, fearful, and concerned with everything that just happened to them. Uh, most people are not only safe to resume sexual activity of a heart attack, but it's part of the overall recovery. We will continue exploring these issues in detail in my next video. And remember, your health is your most precious asset. Take control. See you next video. Ah, I forgot something. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your doctor about sex after your heart attack.